This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. To turn the street is most faster front average. For more updates, here's Ray Palomar. Alert! Present for people to turn the satisfaction ratings are dropping faster than average when compared to the ratings of his predecessors. The Titus net satisfaction rating dropped to a good 48 from a very good 66. The fall is a little bit faster than average. If he can continue and match the records of Cory Aquino, Fidel Vamos, and Noino Aquino, then it's something to talk about. A president is not really supposed to expect love. He is supposed to expect respect and is supposed to give satisfactory ratings. Ray Pulmore, World News Correspondent. Back to you, Neil. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> More Korean hackers steal U.S. South Korean war plans. Kobe Umba for more info. Hackers from North Korea are reported to have stolen a large cache of military documents from South Korea, including a plan to assassinate North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. Ryo Kil, he, a South Korean lawmaker, said the information was from his country defense ministry. The compromised document include wartime contingency plans drawn up by the U.S. and South Korea. They also include reports to the Allies senior commander. The South Korean Defense Ministry has so far refused the comment about the allegations. Plans from South Special Forces were reported accessed along with the information on significant power plants and military facilities in the South. Mr. Lee belonged to the South Korea ruling party and sits on its parliament's defense committee. He said some 235 gigabytes of military documents had been stolen from the Defense Integrated Data Center and that 80% of them have yet to be identified. The hack took place in September last year. In May, South Korea said a large amount of data had been stolen and that North Korea may have in instigated the cyber attack but gave no detail of what was taken. North Korea denied the claim.
and we're back. You're still watching ABC. Okay. Goodbye, Ivy Atlas. Welcome, Lily Cruz. Jasky, what do you have? For the entertainment news, goodbye Ivy Aguas, welcome Lily Cruz. Most of the people were excited in Maha Salvador's biggest revelation as Lily Cruz in the Capamilia Telesaria Wildflower. People were shocked and amazed as they have seen and witnessed the new character of Ivy Aguas. This could be one of the greatest comebacks in media industry. General Sambiga reporting. Back to studio. Thank you, Jansky. Arellanos, Tony San Sebastian to stay in NCAA Final Four. Jump here for the details. The university secured what might be its most impressive victory in the NCAA Season 93 Men's Basketball Tournament as it took down San Sebastian College, 85-79, to stay afloat in the Final Four race on Tuesday at Phil Oil Flying V Center. Everybody is looking for success, knowledge, skills, and opportunities are the components of success. People from diverse background come to St. Paul University Dumaguete to create a brighter future for themselves. St. Paul University Dumaguete is renowned globally as a center of learning. Enrollment is now ongoing. Come and be part of the growing Polinian community. For more details and information, visit St. Paul University Dumaguete or call 035-225-1506. Polinians, all to all. And we're back. You're still watching ABC. Okay. Is it going to rain or shine? How's the weather, Mr. King? Heavy rains in Luzon due to new low pressure area. Our brewing rain will dampen Luzon on Monday, said the State Weather Bureau of Pagasa. Bicol and Calabarzon region and the provinces of Mindoro, Marinduque and Romblon will experience moderate to occasionally heavy rains. Pagasa meteorologist June Galang told DZMM, light to moderate rains meanwhile will persist in the Visayas, Metro Manila and the regions of Cordillera, Ilocos, Cagayan Valley and the provinces of Palawan, Aurora, Dinagat Island and Surigao del Norte. The low pressure area was last spotted in 410 kilometers east of Legazpi, Albay at 3 a.m. It is unlikely to intensify into a tropical cyclone, Galang said. Another LPE which brought rains in Luzon over the weekend has left the Philippine area of responsibility. The meteorologist added, Back to you guys! See you next time on our 60-minute broadcast. ABC Alert!